Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we went through Gungeoneering 101 with the assistance of uh, Sir Manuel, or Sir Manuel, however he'd like to say that, who was sobbing on the ground like a broken toy the last time we saw him. Oops. I discovered this in between videos. There's an Ammonomicon here. I'm assuming this is the codex that keeps popping up at the bottom. Oh my. Pea Shooter has joined the shootout! Okay. Uh, Marine Sidearm. Always hit the semi-automatic. Infinite ammo does not reveal secret walls. The Marine Sidearm is brought to the gungeon by a low-ranking Primerdine soldier. Though this gun appears sturdy, it has been known to fail when it is most needed. I don't like that. Mega Dowser, contents under pressure, beam. Hmm. A water gun might seem to be a poor weapon for gungeoneering, and in most cases that is true, but a well-placed blast of water can douse a raging inferno. A soaked enemy can be electrified. A dazed foe can be pushed into the abyss. In the gungeon, creativity is key to victory. Oh, that's what I think I did that already by accident. Supply drop, I need mags, active. Calls in an ammo drop. Passive items, military training, hold facing enemy. Uh, memories of your years in training, better reload speeds and weapon accuracy. Rusty sidearm. Oh, these are the ones the other guys have. Infinite ammo, does not reveal secret walls. The rusty sidearm is brought to the dungeon, a uh, gungeon, I keep doing that, by the hunter. Despite its extremely dated design and some signs of rust, this, this gun appears relatively new. Very strange. Uh-huh. Rogue Special. Well played. Underhanded and efficient. Semi-automatic. Infinite ammo. Does not reveal secret walls. Given to the pilot by his partner, it's never let him down. This hip shooter has been known to fire half-cocked and often gets itself into more trouble than it can handle. Budget Revolver. Affordable Arms. Uh, brought to the gungeon by an infamous fugitive. Provided by the hegemony regional magistrate, the convict won their plea to face the gungeon in view of life imprisonment, undo their crimes, or face an eternity in gungeon. With no cost to the state, it was an acceptable arrangement. Cheaply made and prone to jams, the budget revolver used by only the most desperate gungeoneers. Dart gun. There's not real secret walls. It's sticky. Just because children are young doesn't mean they don't have past they would like to change. Perhaps some young soul wished to make sure his or her sibling took the blame for spilling grape juice on the couch. Much less worthy causes have been championed in the gungeon. Pea Shooter, baby's first gun. Traditionally given to gungeoneers, when they first arrive at the gungeon, it is incredibly weak. Sawed off. No buts about it. A shotgun modified for easy concealment. The shorter barrel widens the spread, but up close it's just as deadly as its full-barreled cousin. The shotgun full of love. Okay! Crossbow. One of the earliest examples of trigger-fired projectiles. The original. Oh, that is a lot of different guns. Oh, fuck. BSG. I had a feeling I recognized that design. <laughs> Friendship cookie. Enemies! Here we go. Bulletkin. Bulletkin are the most common gun dead. This is going to be a very pun-heavy game, isn't it? The sentient shells are brought to life hundreds of years ago when the Great Bullet struck and formed the Gungeon. They are simple creatures, but vigilant and loyal. Bandana Bulletkin. Aggressive Bulletkin that fearlessly charge their targets, spraying bullets from their machine pistols with a reckless abandon. Some theorize that the bandanas represent the rudiments of gun-dead culture. That said, there is little evidence beyond the occasional pair of sunglasses. Red Shotgun Kin. Red. Dead. Shells of a red kin are the beefiest and most durable of the shotgun dead. <laughs> In Bullet Society, shotgun kin often serve as enforcers to their smaller brethren. Shells of the blue kin fire more rapidly than their red brethren, though they are similar in more other respects. Shotgun kin are known to burst upon death as a final act of revenge upon their assailments. Assailants. Oh, blue dead. Hmm. Nitra. Peace surprise. These tubular menaces signal airstrikes to the light of their 
lit fuses. Matured nitra can be rare due to destructive behavior in their adolescence. Many nitra meet an early end, defiantly detonating mailboxes or toilets. Oh, like firecrackers. Pinhead! That's very good. Pinheads live for the moment before their own brilliant combustion. Beware their leap. When wavering in their purpose, e pinheads eagerly sacrifice themselves to protect the gungeon and its treasures. Bulat. God damn it. A bat bullet. The bats that once nested here that once nested here have been transformed by the great bullet. Able to fly at high speeds to attack, but unable to survive the force of the impact. Shotgat. Shotgats split themselves in two, firing in a V-shape. Their aim can be foiled by remaining still. Spyrat. A bat ghost. The ghosts of bullets who died valiantly, returned from beyond the curtain. Hollow bullets are able to reposition themselves before impact, giving them the appearance of attacking in numbers. Gun nut. Dark Knight. The gun nut commands lesser gun dead of the authority of the Bullet King, and patrols the halls of the gungeon of the mighty ba blade forged from pure bullets. Oh. Dang it. I cannot go over there. I have seen a boss. It was Sir Manuel. Oh well. I've been faffing around long enough anyway. What's this? The store? Yeah! Oh, you're still alive, he says. Oh. And of course, the, uh... Watch out for all the bullets. Teehee. I want to try something. Well, I think I put out these braziers in here with the fire, or the water gun earlier. Oh shit, there's a chest back here. Or at least a switch. Good to know! I just wanted to see if it was possible. I think this is what I just did. Yeah! Makarov, the people's gun. Wait, that's a real one, isn't it? Oops. Might as well. Makarov, the people's gun. Semi-automatic. The Makarov is brought to the gungeon by a lost cosmonaut. Some say that brave still, a lost soul still wanders the gungeon. This gun is no better or worse than any other gun. That doesn't really make any sense to me, but I'll go with it. I knew that. Organs. Go push them up against each other. Perfect. I don't know why I did that. Oh. Noted. Ghost bullets shoot through. I wonder how I use those. Molotov, feel the burn. Molotov cocktails aren't guns, and so they are frowned upon by long dwelling gungeoneers. They get the job done regardless. Knowing the hegemony won't let her bring her own weaponry to the gungeon, the convict smuggled these few bottles into the transport's cargo. Hidden compartment. Extra space. Increases ad active item capacity and maximum ammo counts. Ever since the hegemony caught him with a few questionably legal goods, the pilot has turned to more clandestine storage methods. 
Here it is, ghost bullets. Grants all bullets piercing. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I don't have any keys. Right. That's what those are for. Shame. Hmm. This is not a great arsenal to go up against a boss with, I think. But we'll uh, have to see. I don't know why I didn't just teleport there, now that I think about it. It's a pun, isn't it? Oh, I just got that! Gatling Gull! It's a joke about Vulcan Raven from, uh... Metal Gear. Circle strafe. Oh. No. I died. The past still haunts you. Uh, let's try the hunter. I do like the sound of the dog. Not sure what having a dog will do, but... Right here. Oh, it's the title screen. Perfect. I mean inventory. Is the dog here? The dog is not here. Oh, right. That's not ominous at all. Dog! That's why I didn't see it. Junior 2. Passive. A faithful companion finds items on room clear. Keeps the hunter company. He has a good nose for treasure, but all attempts to train him in combat have failed. Interesting. It has to load every time I do that. Something odd about that statue. Ah! Uh. Oh no. 
Freaking blood jello, get out of the way! To you. I hit the wrong button and I meant to dodge there, but I guess it worked out anyway. I'm certain we've never met before. These prices seem a little absurd. And now I know why the hearts look like that. I just got that. God damn it. Golly gee, I hope nothing particularly important is stored over there. throwing words at me. What's up with that? Oh. Phoenix, reborn in flame. Kind of, yeah, okay, I can ring that up. Actually, it's right there, isn't it? Phoenix! Reborn in flame, the muzzle flare from this fiery handgun can ignite enemies. Return enemies to dust. Famously wielded by two-shot Irias on her final gungeon attempt. Snowballer. May contain rocks. This weapon was constructed the single time the Gungeon experienced a snow day. New Gundeads simply appeared with these cannons strapped to their bodies and pelted everything in sight with powdery projectiles. There were also many chipped teeth. This is a weird game, man. Yeah, okay. Hello, dog. Ah, fuck. That was not muzzle flare. Dang it, Hunter. It's not hunters that spin their pistols. It's cops. Everyone who's seen RoboCop knows that. Fuel barrels at some point, I'm calling it. Oops. Yes. You can pet the dog and enter the gungeon. <laughs> Look at him go. Uh, just suddenly struck me. Well, there is one more door to check, I guess. We got a bunch of dunes.
you are confetti. I think I just sub zeroed that guy. Oh, there's the timer. Okay, we're good. Just checking my ammo. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time when we continue exploring Enter the Gungeon. I'm liking it so far! So I hope you'll join me when we come back. Later!